turns out I'm now going president. <laughs> and so um, I think it is appropriate to have just a few remarks. Um, and I want to start by saying thanks to you all, all, all the Rotarians and uh, <coughs> supporters of the Rotarians, that I guess, um, to being here just means so much to us. One really big thing about um, Rotary is fellowship. And so, as you see tonight, uh, fellowship is so much a part of what we do. Um, I think we've had a really good year. Um, we hosted a five-star centennial celebration. Um, we met our goal of $100 a month, the ACIM. We sponsored children to Rolla. We had the largest participation in a roadside cleanup that anyone can remember. Thank you all so much for that. We sponsored the Turkey Brigade again. We sponsored 50 kids to the, take your kid to the ball game, the largest of any club in the district. We participated in the Salvation Honor Bell ringing. Thanks Charles for all your work and helping with that. <coughs> we sponsored a new club. We donated to the, to, to a school for the deaf in Jamaica. We were part of a project that's now completed in the fall. And most importantly, we added five new members. I say we had a really good year this year. And there were so many invaluable things that many Rotary did individually, both in the community as well as a club. By giving money, books, <laughs> furniture, vegetables, and the list goes on of all the things that our club has done to show that we are really about our club motto, service above self. Being a, being a member of Rotary is really just the right place to be. We're so fortunate to have a very diverse club <coughs> with some of the very best members. I've had the good fortune to be a Rotarian for a number of years and to serve as president three different times. This being my third year serving and, and, and my final duty as president. <laughs> um, the fellowship at Rotary is priceless. And I want to thank each of you again for all of your support throughout the year. Thank you again so much. Their anniversary is next year because we sponsored them. And they want so desperately to do what we did. They don't have a bar, so I wish them well. But <laughs> <laughs> so this year the sip of the President's Award, Bart Clear. The distinguished service. Very loyal, devoted to the idea of a rotary. This rotary has been in attendance over nine percent of our meetings. This person is actively involved in our meetings. This military act actively seeks out and brings interesting speakers to our, our meetings. This military consistently creates opportunities for children to learn both in their home and at events. This military is committed to our club motto, serving the bus self. Could please fetch him on this process. And help me as we honor Mr. James Nutt. Yeah. Yeah.
It tells you that we admire your standards in the conduct of your business, your personal affairs, and your interests in the affairs of your community. We believe you'll uphold the high visions of your club, that you will give the best of your well-known executive ability to the furtherance of the interests of your club and carrying forward the object of growth. Will you please repeat the first object of growth mm -hmm. to encourage and foster, to encourage and foster the development of acquaintance as an opportunity for service. And do you propose in your administration the affairs of this club? And do you so affirm in the presence of your fellow members to carry out the objects of Rotary? I do. Then in the name of the Rotary Club of Oxford, I declare you formally installed as president for the year 2023-2024 and assure you the loyal support of all your fellow members. Now going President David Irvin, I did declare the new officers as the new president installed and give President Joe Johnson the gavel as the symbolic trade, uh, transfer of the club administration. same programs. Hopefully we're going to have some meetings here in the next little bit to talk about other things that we can do outreach wise. But I want to be able to be open and honest with you uh, about how we want to grow it. I want input from you guys. I'm a, I live on my phone, unfortunately. That's the job that I live. I have. So a phone call, an email, a text. I want to hear from you. If there's something that you want to do that's to the better of the community, I want to be a part, be a part of it. Thank you. 